Hello everyone. Today I'm going to go over AA15 perimeter and area changes in scale and I'm going to talk to you about um, what it looks like when you double or triple or even quadruple dimensions. Um, first let's talk about doubling. We know that doubling is times two and that's something that's pretty standard for everybody and tripling is times three. Um, you may or may not know this, but when you quadruple something, you times it by four. Um, I've not seen any others on this one, um, but you can always use Google as your friend if you're not sure what, what something means. Like if you forget that quadru what quadruple means, you can always look, look it up and it'll help you with that. But I'm going to go over about six problems with you today, um, kind of let you see what this looks like. Some of them are really, really easy. If you've got one that says perimeter, it's going to be easy, but when we have one that says um, area, it's going to be a little bit different. So let's look at the first one. Look at this rectangle. We have a 10 by 8 or 8 by 10 rectangle. If both of the dimensions are tripled, then which of the following statements about its perimeter will be true? And so I'm going to give myself ability to annotate. There we go. All right, so if I'm going to triple these dimensions, I'm going to make this one times three, which would be 30. And I'm gonna make eight times three, which would be 24. And so we're gonna find the perimeter. Remember the perimeter is the distance around. We're gonna add them all up. So if we were um, doing that before, we would have 10 plus eight, which would be 18. And then 18 plus 18 would be 36. So the old, uh-oh, I don't wanna just stick there. Let me get that back. Sorry about that, guys. Um, 10 plus, or triple, that would be 30. And that would be 24. The old one would be 36. So old would be 36. And then the new would be 30 plus 24, which would be 54. And then 54 times 2, which would be what, 108? New would be 108. Let me make that better. 108. All right, so it says new to old because it says new perimeter, old perimeter. So we want new to old. So we want 108 to 36. And we've got to figure out how many times 36 goes into 108. So you can just divide it. 108 divided by 36. And it is three also. So three to one. So if you look at it, we, it tripled the perimeter as well. And that is gonna be something that carries you through. And that's always gonna be the case. If you triple the dimensions of the sides, then the perimeter is going to be tripled. If you double the dimensions, then the perimeter is gonna be doubled. If you quadruple the dimensions, then the, um, then the perimeter is going to be. It's different for area, but for perimeter, you don't have to go through all the math every single time we know that it's going to be three times. So I'm going to click here. The new perimeter will be three times the old perimeter because we tripled it. All right, let's look at another one. This one is also perimeter. If both dimensions are doubled, then it's going to be doubled. It's going to be two times the old. So the new would perimeter would be two times the old perimeter, okay, because it's getting bigger times two. Let's look at another one. This one's also perimeter. If the side lengths are doubled, you guessed it, it's going to be times two, two times greater. All right, hopefully we can get to one with, a, with the area soon. Here's one with area. Now, this one is a little bit different. We've got two yards by two yards, so it's a square, and we're going to quadruple the side length. So quadruple means times four. So we're going to times that by four, so it'd be eight yards by eight yards. And remember when we're doing area, we do length times width. So here we got our old, and here we have our new. Our old would be two times two, which would be four. And our new one is eight times eight, which is 64. Now that's definitely not, four times, four quadrupled is not 64. So it is doing something different. So let's look at it. We're doing, it says new to old. Remember, new area to old area. So we need to put our new number first, which would be 64. Our old area would be four, and we want to divide here. 64 divided by four is 16 to one. So if we multiply the side lengths by four, if we quadruple the side lengths, then its area is going to be times 16. Now think about that. I'm going to go ahead and mark 16 here. But I want you to think about that. 
we times it by four the side lengths. We times the length by four and we times the width by four. And so then the area was times 16. And that makes sense because four times four is 16. So if we were to um, double the side lengths times two and times two, then the whole area would be times four. If we were to triple three times three, then the whole area would be times nine. So perimeter stays the same, but when the, it's the area, when we're dealing with the area, we have to multiply it by both dimensions. We have to double the length and we have to double the width or we have to triple the length and triple the width. All right, so let's see if we can do the next one without doing a whole lot of extra math. Oh, well, that's perimeter and we're tripling it. So it would be times three. And I'm gonna jump a level. Nope, here's an area one. Now we're tripling the area. So we're gonna triple, it doesn't matter what we're, it doesn't matter what these are. We're tripling this one, so times three. And we're tripling this one times three. And three times three would be nine. So the new area would be nine, the old area. And you all got that one. Let me jump one more level. Let's see, let me clear it. We'll make sure that we're hitting all of these. Okay, what about a triangle? Perimeter of a triangle, you're still adding up the sides. So it really doesn't, it doesn't change it. We're doubling the dimensions, so it's going to be doubled as well. The new perimeter is going to be two times the old perimeter. So that doesn't change that one. This one's the area. Now, oh, I'm glad this one came up. If the side lengths are halved, if we're taking half of it, what are we going to do? Remember, we're timesing the length by half and we're timesing the width by half. So we have to do half times half. One times one is one. Two times two is four. So this would be a fourth of the old area. That's how that would work. So, and let's do this last one because we've got a parallelogram and it looks a little different than what we've been used to. If we triple the dimensions, what about the area? Same thing, length, time, when you're doing a parallelogram, it's still length times width. So we're gonna do times three for the length, times three for the width, and three times three would be nine. So the ratio of the new to old would be nine to one. And that's how you do those problems. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope that you're able to get through these problems and kind of looking at scales changing. Have a wonderful day.